the Quran talks about Salah. In English, people normally translate Salah as prayer. Prayer, if you open the dictionary, means to beseech, to ask for help. According to me, prayer is not the appropriate translation of the Arabic word Salah. What we do dua after the Salah, that is prayer. The Salah is far superior to praying. In the Salah, besides asking for help, we are getting guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Arabic word Salah comes from the root word Salah, means connection. The servant connects with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Salah means connecting to God. I call it the programming towards righteousness. When we pray, we read Surah Fatiha, after that Imam is telling us, he's giving us guidance, don't lie, don't cheat. Five times a day, we are being programmed towards righteousness. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah an Kabut, chapter 29, verse 45, recite of what we have revealed to thee of the Quran and establish Salah. For Salah restrains you from shameful and unjust deed. That means Salah keeps you on the straight path. It prevents you from shameful and unjust deed. It prevents you from sin. So if you offer Salah correctly, you will be on the straight path. Because Salah, because the Quran teaches us about Salah, the Quran is a global necessity. The Quran speaks about Zakat. It is the third pillar of Islam that every rich Muslim who has the saving of more than the Nisab level, more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5% of that excess wealth every lunar year in charity. If every rich human being in the world gives zakat, gives this 2.5% charity, poverty will be eradicated from this world. There will not be a single human being who will die of hunger. And there are several surahs of the Quran, multiple times, aqimu salah, wa'atu zakah. Establish salah and give your zakah. Multiple times in the Quran, Surah Bakra, Surah Imran, Surah Nisa. The Quran talks about the fourth pillar of Islam, Psalm. That every adult Muslim who has the health and is not traveling, it's compulsory that he fasts in the month of Ramadan. He abstains from drinking or eating food and sex from dawn to sunset. In the complete month of Ramadan. I call Ramadan as the overhauling of the human body. Like when you have a car or a motorcycle, you require to service it. Maybe every six months, every year. Similarly, if you call this human being a machine, it requires servicing at least once a year for one month. If you can abstain from smoking from dawn to sunset, you can very well abstain from smoking from the cradle to the grave. If you can abstain from drinking alcohol, from dawn to sunset, very well you can abstain from having alcohol from the cradle to the grave. Ramzan is a month which encourages you to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It encourages you to do good deeds and it encourages you to stop the evil deed. Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 183 that fasting was prescribed to you as it was prescribed to people before you so that you may learn self-restraint, so that you may learn taqwa, so that you may learn God consciousness, so that you may learn piety. So the main reason our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed us to fast for one month in the month of Ramadan is so that we attain taqwa, righteousness, God consciousness, piety. The glorious Quran speaks about the fifth pillar, that is hajj. It is compulsory for every adult Muslim who has health and has the economic means that at least once in his lifetime he should perform Hajj, the pilgrimage and travel to the city of Makkah, the state of Makkah, Mina, Arafah, Muzdalifah, back to Mina and Makkah in the six days from 8th to the 13th of the Hajj. There's a full surah by the name Surah Hajj, chapter 22 in the Quran. And this Hajj is the biggest annual gathering in the world, where more than 4 million people gather from different parts of the world, from USA, from Canada, from UK, from Pakistan, from India, from Saudi Arabia, from Nigeria, from Ghana, from different parts of the world. 
and the men they are dressed in two pieces of unsewn cloth. You cannot identify the person next to you whether he is a king or a pauper. All equal in the sight of Allah. Labbaik, Allahumma labbaik. Labbaik, Allahumma labbaik. Here I am, O oh my Lord, at your service. It is the best example of universal brotherhood in the world. Whether black or white, yellow or brown, two pieces of unsewn cloth, all equal in the sight of Allah. Because the glorious Quran teaches us about salah, about psalm, about zakat, about hajj, I say Al Quran is a global necessity. The Quran gives us the criteria for a person to go to Jannah to attain salvation. 